Hi, welcome to Charm Adventures, where homeschool meets adventure. Today, I'm giving you an honest review and, and flip through for Horizons Math, Math 2, or 2nd grade, Book 1 and Book 2. And I'll go ahead and put chapters down below, so go ahead and feel free to skip ahead and see the books that you really want to see, and you can listen to my review as I flip through the pages. So before we get started, I wanted to share with you guys that for the last several years, I have been using Singapore with both my kids, and I have been a true believer and supporter of Singapore until I switched to Horizons Math, and I absolutely fell in love. So let me tell you the specifics about this book. It comes in a two-book set, book one and book two. Book one has 80 lessons, and book two starts at lesson 81 and ends at lesson 160. And there's 180 school days. We generally did math about one, sometimes two days a week, uh, two days a week, and my kids would just um, do a couple lessons per a sitting. And they're very easy. There's just only a couple pages long. Some are as small as one one page and some are as big as three to four pages as the lessons progress later on in the academic school year. So this textbook starts off as just a simple basic review, counting, adding, subtracting, just very easy peasy work. There's, uh, it's very open and go, there's no need to prep or do anything outside of the book. Everything is all inclusive within the book and it starts by counting one through 40, eventually work up to one through 100. And it's a way, it's a really great way to transition from summer into math. And then as the lessons progress, the difficultness and the uh, level that math is given progresses. And I can say by finishing this entire set of books with my child, I am very pleased with the, where he's at in math right now. It starts off as simple counting to adding, but it's a loop curriculum, so it keeps going back and refreshing your child's memory, so it really drills and it remains in their knowledge bank, so it's not something that they're going to do, master, and forget. They'll keep going back to it and referring back to the method that they learned within this curriculum. And then at the end of the book, I'm going to go ahead and just jump in towards the end of the book, they introduce uh, algebraic expressions, Roman numerals, um, Arabic numerals, and just a lot more advanced te techniques that they will need to learn more towards middle school but it's just a very brief introduction so it's really just getting your child familiar with how math will be set up I can't wait until we get into the next book to see what else our child's going to learn but then again it's very basic it's just the introduction so it's nothing to be you know afraid of or scared they learn also fractions uh, time money and array of other things and now getting back to flip through, you'll see how many problems are on a page. It touches base on more than just math. It teaches telling time on an analog clock. It gives word problems. Although that this curriculum is advanced, it does allow your child to feel confident and be able to do this work on their own. And being a mom of multiple kids, homeschooling multiple kids, I find it very important to have a curriculum that doesn't require textbook or further teaching. It's all self-explanatory within this book and simple, easy peasy, open and go. So I use this time as my son is working independently to go ahead and teach my youngest daughter another subject. So it's very helpful in how we spend our time as a homeschooling family and as well as preparing our kids for the future we have a very direct approach and we homeschool every single day all the subjects and there is some you know give and take within my kids are on a lot of activities so this will help them prepare for their future and college if that's what they choose to do so my husband is an engineer, so we're hoping our kids will get into engineering in the future. So we really value science and math as homeschool subjects, and those are our top priorities. So this is more advanced than what you will see in a Singapore book. Singapore is uh, it's more of a mastery curriculum, so you will master one method and go ahead and move on to the next, and you won't see that further along in the book. There may be a review chapter, but it's not going to be throughout the text, and I found that my son actually moved from Singapore and he moved to Horizons and he had already forgotten some of the methods and techniques he had learned and they showed him a lot of practical as my husband said um, Horizons shows a lot of practical math equations that he just really appreciated in this book and it took a while for me to kind of get used to it it was kind of a love and hate situation for me in the beginning because it took a while to get my son on board to do the math um, lessons at a quicker pace but overall as we progress throughout the learning periods and the time together he has been able to really blossom and flourish in this math and he has 
been able to now work independently, whereas before he was not working independently. And of course that goes on with time and as he's getting older, but I really appreciate where I see him now. And he's always gotten really high scores in the t- high 90s on the NWEA score. And I think now going forward using this curriculum, it should even be higher. I'm really excited to see what this curriculum will bring to his future. doing our flip through for math two book two so this is the second book for second grade and let's go ahead and get right into it so as we open the book you'll see that we start on lesson 81 and the format continues to be the same throughout the second book a lot of different variety of problems within a page and a lesson and keep in mind that this is a loop curriculum so it will go back and touch base on some of the problems that you may have seen on the first book but it'll always keep advancing forward where it will show you algebraic expressions further in the book it teaches money fractions and some slight division towards the end of this book, which you'll see as we continue to flip through it. I can say that I am confident that my son will be very successful going through book three. I did not purchase the teacher's manual this year, but just seeing how advanced that this will get, I, I think I might have to purchase book three's teacher's manual just to make sure that if there's any um, suggestions on how to teach, we can go ahead and look for references. But my husband is a software engineer. He is a great teacher who teaches my son math on those little problems that I might have difficulty explaining. I personally like to have him on hand just in case. I like to refer back on the teaching lessons if there's anything I may have missed or could teach in a different way if my son or child is struggling. But as of this time in second grade, there is no struggle. My son got the fractions, got everything very easily and I'm excited to see book three. And if you have any questions or you use a different curriculum that you may be, that may even be more advanced, please go ahead and put it down in the comments. I would really love to hear about it. And at this time, I just wanna go ahead and say, thank you for taking the time to go through my video. And if you haven't already, please go ahead and like, subscribe and hit that notification bell so you never miss a beat with our family. We do a lot of videos on travel, homeschool, motherhood, and California in general. So if you like videos on those type of topics, Topics, please feel free to join the family and subscribe. We'd love to have you and see you back again.